What's up guys, it's Ivan and today I wanted to give you some tips that you will not find in a Harvard Credit School of Education admissions presentation. These tips come from my experience so I want to caveat this video by saying that I have never served as an admissions rep via HGSC. This information is based on my personal experiences getting in as well as chatting with other HGSC students and the way that they tackle their application. Before we get into the tips, I do want to remind you that I often Offer a statement of purpose review service as well as a resume and CV review service on the freelance platform called Fiverr. If you place an order and want me to look at your documents, I will provide constructive feedback to make sure that you are the most competitive applicant for HGSC. The link is placed down below and I look forward to working with you. As a prospective applicant, you want to thoroughly research the program, the institution, and the school you are applying for. So obviously in this case, you are applying for HGSC. So make sure that you are talking to alumni, talking to current students, talking to faculty, engaging with the website, with the webinars, with the admissions recordings or presentations that you're going to some of these events. That way you gain a clearer picture of what they are seeking in their successful applicants and students that study at HGSC. So what are you looking for when you are talking to faculty? faculty, staff, current students and alumni, as well as the website. So you are looking for pieces of information that are going to help you craft the most competitive application for HGSC. And so what is this information? So one of the biggest things that I want you to look for is reading their mission statement. So I'm going to hop on my computer and show you what that mission statement is. All right. So on the page, it says, welcome to the Harvard Graduate School of Education. Our mission, the mission of the Harvard Harvard Graduate School of Education is to prepare education leaders and innovators who will change the world by expanding opportunities and outcomes for learners everywhere. We're an institution committed to making the broadest impact possible, putting powerful ideas and evidence-based research into practice. So why is it important for you to know what this mission is? You want to know what this mission is because you want to play off of what they're seeking in their applicants. In this mission statement, it tells you exactly who they're looking for. So they're looking for the next generation of leaders, innovators, change makers. They're looking for people who want to expand opportunities and outcomes for learners around the world. They are looking for people who want to put forth powerful and innovative ideas and who are interested in using evidence-based research and translate that into practice. So right here we see a lot of nuggets that you can utilize in your statement of purpose, in your CV, in your writing writing sample if you're applying for the PhD because it's they're telling you exactly who they're looking for. So make sure that your application talks about how you're the next greatest education leader, the next innovator or an innovator, that you're interested in providing opportunities and outcomes for learners around the world, that you're interested and have these great ideas that haven't been thought of, that you're interested in putting theory to practice. Talk about that in your application. When you go to the homepage of HGSC, the first thing that pops up are the words learn to change the world. So I want you to make sure that you are providing evidence that you have already attempted to change the world through your research, through your practice, through your experiences. Make that evident in your statement of purpose with your examples. On their website, they also provide you opportunities to connect with that missions and really you know, current students, staff, faculty. So what I want you to do when you are, you know, learning about HGSC, their programs, their institutions, and the school, I want you to go to this page here and I want you to look at the events and recordings. If you can attend an event physically, make sure you are going to the live webinars or watch the recordings so you can get a general insight on what they're looking for in their applicants and so you get to learn more about the program as well. They offer a lot of opportunities. They offer small group sessions, one-on-one -on -one appointments. You can also connect with an ambassador as well as do a virtual tour. When I was applying to HGSC, I actually connected with an ambassador, which is a current student. And that current student not only gave me information about their experience at HGSC, but they also provided their successful application documents, which were really helpful when I was crafting my own. So the person provided me with their statement of purpose and their resume and CV, as well as answered my questions on how to tackle the application. And that was really helpful in terms of me 
getting accepted into HGSC. So I advise you to connect with an ambassador that way you get your questions answered and possibly gain support with your graduate school application. There's also an option to introduce yourself and I would say go for it. All you have to do is just put your information and they're gonna provide you with emails that relate to who you are as a person, your identities, your background, etc. That way they can give you a better experience with the admissions application and the broader scope of what HGSC can provide to students like you. Get connected with the program, the institution, and the school by all the means. That also shows HGSC that you are actually invested in gaining admissions to their program. The next tip is to establish a theme or a niche when you are crafting your entire application. Programs in the Harvard Graduate School of Education are competitive because obviously Harvard is an Ivy League institution. So you want to make sure that you stand out when you are crafting your application. One way to do this is by establishing a clear theme and niche that you're going to be talking about in your statement of purpose and across your other documents. So essentially, what do you want the committee to know you for? Are you going to be an aspiring policymaker who wants to change the lives of rural students? Or are you going to be a leader in the K through 12 sector because you want to transform how family engagement practices are implemented? So I want you to think about who you are as an applicant and what you want the committee to know you for. You don't want to make your application broad because you want to make sure that you are standing out in your application. And the way to do that is by having a clear theme or niche. What do you want the committee to know you for and remember you by? That's the key to gaining admissions to HGSC. You want to make sure you stand out and that they hear a new perspective to tackling pressing education issues. When I was applying to HGSC, my theme was around rural Latinx family engagement. And I targeted those specific identities because I knew going into the application process that most of my peers were interested in urban education or ed tech or the K through 12 sector. For me, I was trying to show that I was this unique student from a rural background, from a farm working background that was interested in advancing Latinx family engagement, particularly Latino father engagement in higher education. And so that is unique. And the way that I made it unique was because I was very specific in terms of how I was planning to change the world through education. The next tip is to build your application with your passion in mind. So what does this mean? As a person who edits and provides feedback for a lot of prospective applicants to HGSC, one of the most common mistakes I see in statement of purpose writing is that people want to change the world, change every student's lives. And coming in as an educator, it is okay for you to want to accomplish that, right? But for the purpose of a statement of purpose and your application to HGSC, you need to focus on one population and one sector of education. That's going to allow the committee to know that you actually have a plan in mind and to showcase that you are actually going to make an impact because the population you're, you're trying to target is more smaller versus the entire world. It's going to be physically impossible to impact the entire world unless you invent some type of innovative solution, whether it's policy that's more like statewide or national, right? But realistically, most people don't change the entire world by one means. So you want to provide a realistic goal in terms of your impact and you do that by making sure that you are focusing your target population. So the way that you want to include this in your entire application is you want to provide evidence both in your CV, your statement of purpose, your writing sample if you're applying for the PhD program, that you are actually passionate about advancing the success of a certain niche population of people or community. The next tip is to showcase your entrepreneurial and innovation mindset. When you explored the HGSC website, they told you that they wanted innovators, the next education leaders that are going to change the world. So you want to make sure that you are showcasing how you already attempted to become that leader, that innovator, that entrepreneur. What were the outcomes of your attempt and what do you still need to learn or where are the gaps in your knowledge and skill sets that HGSC can train you to become that next leader in your field. So showcase your entrepreneurial and innovative mind through action in your statement of purpose as well as your CV. Show how you have attempted to enact change in your community to a certain population in your work by actions. Write that in your statement of purpose. The final tip that I have for you is to have clear career goals with an action plan. So what does this mean? A master's program at the Harvard Graduate School of Education is only nine months long. So 
So the committee wants to know how are you going to maximize those quick nine months to fill the gaps in your knowledge and skills? What resources are you going to use that HGSC offers to help fill those gaps? Make sure you are mentioning the course names, the reasons why those courses are going to help you fill those gaps and make a greater impact, the faculty who you want to be advised by and possibly work on research with, and how those opportunities are going to help and advance your skills as well as make an impact. How are the other resources that on campus going to help you succeed to reach your career goals and the impact you want to make? So what I want you to do is go on the website, look at the Beyond the Classroom webpage and see what opportunities HGSC offers. And I want you to do very thorough research and describe some of these opportunities that you want to take when you are there and you want to tell them how that opportunity is going to help advance your career and make a difference. Don't forget that part when you are writing your statement of purpose. HGSC does offer a lot of opportunities. So I want to make sure that you understand that you don't have to mention every single little thing that they offer at the school. I know a lot of these opportunities are very great, but they want to make sure that you have an action plan and that that action plan is realistic. So mentioned three to five experiences, how those opportunities will help fill those gaps in your knowledge and skills and how those opportunities will help advance your career and your innovation and leadership skills to make a difference in your sector. All right, guys, so that concludes my video on the secrets that admissions representatives are not going to tell you about the graduate school application process for HGSC. I hope these tips provided some insight that are going to help you craft the best, most competitive HGSC application package. I do offer statement of purpose review service as well as a resume and CV review service on the freelance platform called Fiverr where I will provide you with constructive feedback on those documents to help you get into HGSC. The link is placed down below and I look forward to working with you. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.